Prom plans are adjusted for COVID, and new soccer fields are set to be built in the coming year. I'm Alicia Fireherm, these stories and more on this edition of Tribe News. With COVID on the forefront of administrators' minds, adaptations are made to make prom this year possible. Tribe broadcasting reporter Tyler Soliday has more on the story. It's been a year now since the pandemic has closed schools around the nation. No sports, no concerts, no plays, and no prom. But fortunately, 2021 is a new year, and with this new year, Hayes High will be allowed to hold their prom. With class sponsors as Mrs. Scheel and Mrs. Fawn and Steel, they will be working their very hardest to make sure Hayes High can still have the prom they so dearly love while still following the COVID-19 restrictions. Prom will be held April 10th here at the Hilton Garden Inn. The dance will be in the outdoor deck area, as well as part of the parking lot they are blocking off for the dance. The dance will be held from 6 to 8.30 p.m., and it will still be in the usual formal style. We went to some of the students at Hayes High School and asked their opinions about prom this year. Uh, yes, I do plan on attending prom. The reason I plan on going, I never went before. I'm more of an inside type of guy. So I just wanted to see how it is. I wanted to see how, what the hype is about. I'm kind of excited for prom, and I'm excited for the pictures that I get to take and that I get to look pretty. That's about all I'm excited for. The most thing I'm excited for is hanging out with my friends and getting ready, all dressed up cute, and just talking to my friends and dancing with them at the prom. I don't plan on going to prom. Instead, I'm probably going to go hang out with some friends and have fun times. The changes, I think I changed the time. It's a little too early for me. Um, when I'm, I, every movie, every prom movie, it just feels like prom is meant to be a little later at night. That's just how I feel. If I could change anything about prom, I would make it inside because I don't think it's gonna work very well outside. I just can see it not, just not working the way they hoped it would. And it tends to rain on prom anyways, so it could be interesting. Walking downtown, you may see students skateboarding. How long have they been skating? What kind of tricks can they do? I sought out the answers to these questions and more. Students continually find new ways to spend time outside of school. Sophomores Jude Tippy and Seth Samaya started skateboarding earlier this school year. Uh, I decided to start skating uh, because I just need a way to waste time and get out of the house. I've been skating for probably about five or six months. I started beginning of the school year. Recently I've been skating every other day or so. I like to kind of do it at the skate park or out here at the dike. Uh, the only skate tricks I really know is I can do a little bit of stuff with the ramps at the skate park. I can do a very, very small manual and I can ollie a little bit. Like Tippy, Samaya has a limited repertoire of skills, but continues practicing. Uh, I'm about the same level as June. Uh, we can do a couple manuals and ollies and stuff, just the beginner stuff. Uh, I kind of been working on a kickflip, but I can't really land it. I can get the flip down, but <laughs> that's about it. SK, uh, I want to say about every other day, maybe a little bit less now because of work, but I get it just whenever I get the chance, really. If it's a nice day out, then got to make the most of that. It's going to be fun if you do it with your friends because at first you're really going to be bad at it and it's going to be a rough mess. But it'll be fun later on because then you can do a lot of cool things and be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Skateboarding has proved enjoyable for the group and they continue to keep on cruising for the foreseeable future. For Tribe Broadcasting, I'm Alicia Fireherm. For years, the soccer team has made do with only one field here on campus. That's set to change in the coming year. Tribe broadcasting reporter Madeline Martin has more on the story. Just this last spring, construction was started on the brand new soccer field here at Hayes High. There will be two new fields built right by the existing field in hopes to be utilized for practice and attracting other local teams to come play. We talked to two Hayes High soccer players to get their input on the project. I'm here with Diego Mueller, who is a sophomore at Hayes High and plays soccer for the boys team. I'm going to ask him some questions about what he thinks about the new fields. So, how do you think these fields will benefit the soccer program? Um, so, there's two new practice fields coming in, and I think that they'll benefit them to help us practice more and also get some younger kids to play more. Okay, and what do you think the, of the soccer field now and its condition? Uh, I actually think it's really bad, and so I'm actually pretty excited to get this new field. 
And what difference do you think these fields will make for Hayes in the long run? Uh, like I said, we're having some younger kids practice on the new practice fields, and so uh, for the future, they'll see us play, and so they'll be better in the long run, and they'll play on the same fields in high school. Okay, and how do you think these fields will help you personally? Uh, personally, uh, it'll probably boost my confidence a little bit to get on a better field and probably help out my touch a little bit and play better. Okay, thank you. I'm here with Savannah Lawson, who is a sophomore at Hayes High and plays soccer on the girls' team. She's going to tell me some of her thoughts on the new fields that are being built. So, how do you think these fields will benefit the soccer program? I think they'll benefit the soccer program because having more than one field is always better. A field to practice on and a field to play on is always important. Okay, and what do you think of the current field and its condition? The current field we have is in very bad condition. The grass is really patchy and it's a very bumpy field, which I think makes it harder to practice on. And what difference do you think this will make in the long run for Hayes? I think in the long run, a newer field will encourage more kids to come out and play. Okay, and how will it benefit you personally? I think better fields to practice on, like new and more improved fields, will make me a better soccer player um, more than a bumpy and patchy field would. Okay, thank you. The field should be done by this coming fall and will hopefully bring lots of positive change for the programs at Hayes High. This has been Madeline Martin for Tribe Broadcasting. Students run vigorous campaigns for Stuco executive positions. This year, Alex Johnson took his campaign to the next level. Earlier this month, I sat down with him and discussed his campaign strategy. At the end of each school year, Student Council elects a new group of executive officers for the following school year. This year, Alex Johnson has been elected as President, Grace McCord as Vice President, Jocelyn Rigler as Secretary, Jersey Johnson as the Public Relations Officer, and Caroline Robin as Treasurer. We sat down with President-elect Alex Johnson to gain insight into his campaign and his plans as President. First of all, with my past experiences as freshman class president, sophomore class president, junior class president, it felt right to run for the top position since I have been in the past leadership roles. Um, but mainly, I love helping people. I think it's a great way to get involved and um, President of Student Council is, I think, the best leadership position you can get at Hayes High. With me in my future wanting to go into politics, I think having an actual set campaign would be the best. So I started easily three months before everyone else did. And so I had campaign flyers. That was the first thing I did. I was going to make buttons, but I mean, I'm trying to save money since I am in high school. Um, so campaign flyers. Um, I started an Instagram page and I uh, did a couple campaign videos. In addition to new officers, Stuco will also have new sponsors next year, with instructors Luke Lundmark and Jamie Getz taking over the program. I had um, a fantastic time with Mrs. Wagner and Mrs. Bringart. Um, with Mr. Lundmark having a Stuco position before um, in California, I believe it was, um, I think it'll be really really fun and interesting. Johnson is excited for this next school year and can't wait to carry out events with the new team. For Tribe Broadcasting, I'm Alicia Fireherm. Starting at a new school can scare even the most well-adjusted students. To help ease fears, leadership team hosts an 8th grade visitation day each year. Let's take a deeper look at the event with Tribe Broadcasting reporter Adam King. Recently, we had the 8th graders from the Hayes Middle School come visit us here at the Hayes High School to kind of learn more about the high school and what courses they could be taking next year. When they got here, we had the leadership team welcome them and kind of introduce them to the school and then explain to them the three stations they'll be doing. The first station is them walking around the high school in the hallways with the leadership team learning where some of the classrooms are and meeting some of the teachers. The second station is in the cafeteria where they sat down with the counselors and they looked at some of the course guidelines that they could take for next year and what overall interests them. The third station was in the gym with some of the sports teams and different clubs to kind of learn about what interests they have here and what they want to do throughout their four years here at Hayes High. Um, I'm really excited to move up to the high school because there's a lot more opportunities up here for learning. I'm excited to go to Hayes High because, well, there's a lot of things you can do that you're not, you 
that um, you can't really do when you're in middle school and there's just, like a lot of things you can learn but at the same time um, like you can have a fun time like, learning and experiencing new things. Um, I'm excited because you get to play sports with older people than you and you can see how good you compare to them and what you need to work on and stuff and a whole new like community of people that like, should treat you good I guess and make new friends. That wraps up the final edition of Tribe News for this year. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you next year.